So with the bandsaw, you've got a blade that's 93 and a half inches around two wheels. This bottom wheel is hooked up to the motor at the bottom, which will spin, okay, and all the teeth are pointing down. Don't ever use it while it is open. Only use it when these doors are closed. Sometimes the doors will be open when you show up for class. Uh, that is because kids have cleaned it up from the class before and just not shut them. This part right here is called the upper guide. This is the part you can adjust up and down for your safety. And you have the green turns it on, the red turns it off. So with this, you want to make sure that you've got your safety glasses on. You can find those in the white cabinet right there. Any loose clothing, you want to make sure that you have uh, the drawstrings tucked in, the sweatshirts either taken off, uh, you know, your jewelry taken off, and ties taken off or tucked in. All right. The upper guide, if the upper guide is higher than a quarter of an inch, you're going to want to drop it down. You want to make sure your fingers are two inches away from the moving part. In this case, it's the blade. When you drop it down, please hold it with one hand and unlock it with the other, dropping it just a quarter of an inch above the material you are going to cut so that you can easily slide it through without catching the upper guide. The upper guide is there so that when your fingers are far enough away, if the blade does come off, track, or break, you can get your hands out of the way and the upper guide will catch the blade before it catches your finger. The bandsaw is a great tool to use because it'll cut with the grain of the wood and against the grain of the wood. Please only do straight cuts on these so you can go diagonally, across, vertically with the grain, but only do straight cuts. When you start twisting it, it'll start twisting the blade and again, the blade can come off track or even break. Green turns it on. that red button, it's not going to come to a stop immediately. Let it come to a stop on its own before you reach in. One of my pet peeves is when students start reaching in there and grabbing at it. Let it come to a stop. And then of course, whatever pieces you don't need, you can throw in the trash right there. So you saw me go across. If you need, a, if you have a thicker piece of wood or you want to do some release cuts, what you can do release cuts are you will go down and back up, down and back up, and then come across so that it releases pressure off the blade so the blades don't break and last a little longer and also the wood doesn't burn. So release cuts you do every half inch to an inch across. You can see it jump off of there and then you can change your angle of it. If you start getting off track, release cuts are a great way to change your angle and correct yourself. Again, turn it off, let it come to a stop until you wait for it to come to a stop so you keep all your fingers. Stopped all the way. I'm gonna get this and push those pieces out of the wood. If you want to use a push stick, we've got push sticks we like to keep along the window sill here. So if you get closer than two inches, you can push it with the push stick while keeping control of your material. And if you put a dent in your push stick, that's better than putting a dent in your fingers or thumbs. <laughs>